this is Angie from Get Woke. How are you doing? I know, and you, and you. How are we all doing? I hope everybody is doing wonderful, fabulous, enjoying these beautiful, intense energies that are coming through. Okay, so who am I and what do I do? Let's first talk about that because there seems to be some confusion. I am Angie. Yeah, that's me. I'm a double Aries, sun and moon. Aquarius rising. <laughs> so I get a little spicy sometimes and I like to change things up and, you know, have a little fun with it. So, yes. Angie also is an energy reader. That's what I do. I read the energy. I feel the energy. I sense the energy. The energy comes in and it's like, bam, message. So with it, I start picking up on these things. Um, and it's almost... When I pick up on an energy... It's very intense. It's all of a sudden, there's just, bam, information in my head. Um, and I'm thinking about something that I had never thought about before. And when I get it out and I record or I get it out in a conversation, I oftentimes have to go back and look at my recording because I have no idea what was said. Because it truly is another energy coming in that I'm picking up and reading. Not coming from myself. Or is it? It could be my higher self. Because, see, the theory is about what this great awakening. Okay, there's a lot of different theories. But the way I see it is that we all signed a contract, right? Every single one of you watching, if you're watching this video, my theory and belief is that we signed a contract. See, Earth sent out a call for help decades ago right and the destruction that the human race was literally causing just the atomic bombs I mean the nuclear I mean we we're talking some very destructive things not only that but just some of the technology that was being messed with and you cannot use such force um, especially when it literally um, will completely knock out a frequency, flatline a frequency, okay? Because we are energy. Everything, our whole communication system between each other, other, between each other, between other species, such as animals, is literally thought and vibration. Have you ever been sad and your animal just comes up to you and just knows you're sad? Because they're picking up on your vibration. Are you angry and your animal is nowhere to be seen? They're picking up on your vibration. Have you ever been super depressed and your plants die? Picking up on your vibration. Have you ever been super happy and everyone in the room that you enter suddenly is in a good mood and starts laughing? Picking up on your vibration. We are frequency, we are vibration, we are energy. So when this call for help from our beautiful Mother Gaia was sent out, we answered it. Now, this was not something we were jumping for joy, excited. Um, and this does not make us any different or better than anyone. It just simply means that there's something within us that just felt the need to experience this on this level, right? And so what I'm saying is that we were born here into this timeline knowing that we were here to forget everything, our connection with source spirit, our higher selves, the rest of our fragments of our soul. We were, we were signing up to forget it all. So we came here, we forgot it all. And the contract was, is that we spend a lifetime or quite some time, several decades trying to find ourselves and wake up and remember. What this meant though, is that most of our childhoods were not easy or there was something in our first 18 years, 20 years, that was extremely traumatic, right? give or take a few years, okay? Um, there's not a science behind that number. It's just the, 
generally in the beginning half of one's life that signs this contract ends up with hardship. Because what this hardship is doing, what this childhood trauma is doing, is forcing us to really question existence. It's forcing us to question everything about our life, our feelings, our reality, other people. Okay? And this then started the process of us waking up and remembering who we are. Now, this doesn't make us any different than anyone else, other than we agreed to be the ones to take that first hit. To kind of wake up, it's the first group. I'm not saying people have not woke up before now. What I'm saying is that this is a mass majority. This was uh, pre-thought out and planned and signed up for, is that we would together be the first wave to wake up so that we could then send that wave out and then begin to uh, help others to wake up, right? So it doesn't make us any better than anybody. It just means that we agreed to go through some shit so that we could help others. We are the ones that, before we forgot who we are, felt strong enough to go through the separation, to go through feeling alone, to go through feeling like nobody understands what the hell we're talking about, thinking, or seeing, you know, that's what it means, is that we agreed to be those ones, that group, is that we felt that we were strong enough to go through this. So when you start feeling like you can't do this, like you can't keep seeing the bigger picture and just oh it, it, it's it, it's it's exhausting because every day is a different energy every day is a different mood every day is something new to learn new information or it's a day of just total exhaustion because i mean we're evolving evolution is no joke we're waking up from a huge slumber okay so it's like going out and running after you've never been a runner in your life, we're just like, <gasps> our bodies are like, whoa, slow down. I've been asleep for a really long time. Forgot who I was. So see, this is us waking up and then helping the rest of the collective catch on, raise their vibration. You know, I mean, like I said, you go into a room and your vibration is high and you're confident in that. You don't let those negative energies get to you, right? Or enter your field. You then start projecting this beautiful vibration and frequency out to those around you. They start picking that up. Their vibration then becomes higher. And when your vibration is at a higher point, frequency, um, different parts of you open up, different parts of your mind open up, you know, I, different, your chakras open up. There's new flow of information. Your brain gets dusted off and is tick tocking, right? This is a very good thing. So this great awakening is, it is a very spiritual journey because it, it will test you. It will push you to the limits. It will test you to the limits. But there's a reason why we all keep going. And see, that's the thing is none of us know what that reason is. We just know it feels right. We know that this is what we're supposed to be doing. We have this faith that this is it. It feels good to release so much pain from this lifetime, right? From our ancestors' lifetimes, right? But see, what all of this also means is that I also see so many groups out there that are literally talking as if they're some extra dimensional, but dimensional being, ET, that is going to come in and save us. Some race, some Octorians, Palladians, are gonna, the Greys are gonna come in and save us. Why on earth? Earth. 
<laughs> it actually hurts. Someone said this earlier today. Uh, just skimming through some stuff, and I actually heard another person say this. I was like, that's funny. I was really thinking about that. Um, about how basically when we're like, oh, someone's gonna come save us, we're literally asking our higher self. Our, the rest of our soul fragments that are spread out all over the place to come in and save us. Do you think that this is the only place you've ever had your spent a lifetime? We're sitting here saying, well, what race do I originate from? Am I an Octorium? Am I a Palladian? You're a little bit of everything because that's what this unlimited universe is about is it about experiencing and creating and wandering and learning right birth is a unique school it's one of the only places I feel like you sign up to forget and completely separate from who you are what you are and where you come from and we're remembering. That's what this awakening is about. It's a remembering. We are remembering. You know? It's almost like this fog has just been pumped out into our air to keep us in this foggy state of slumber where we just don't know what's going on. We're not aware of what's going on around us. We don't care. We don't have the energy for it. <laughs> We're waking up from that. Right? <sighs> My snake just scared herself. Sorry. That was kind of funny. Um, so, what this... So honestly, like the really, the best thing I could say to you is stop worrying about where it is you came from, what it is all about and the exact right way to do it, okay? You're the only one that knows that. You're the only one that knows those answers, okay? You can ask as many people as you want. Ask me if you're a Palladian or a, a Octorian. It's a 50-50. I'll give you a, a both. Which one do you resonate with? I mean, I'm not saying they're not real. They're all very real. There's many different races. It would be complete ignorance to think that we are the only race that exists and we're the dominated dominating race it's kind of ignorant and it's just kind of I don't know it's kind of like an ego trip if you ask me I think the possibilities are endless limitless on who's out there what's out there the experiences that are out there for us and available to us the energies that are available to us I think it's endless and I think that every single one of you are correct on your own thoughts and your own truth and what you feel is the truth, right? Because we have to believe in our own truth as we learn and new information comes in. And then we learn more and our beliefs kind of change or get even more deep rooted in what they are it's an experience so don't judge just don't judge anyone else's thoughts or experiences because it's their truth man you know we it'd be really boring if we all had the exact same truth man Ugh, that would be really boring well, i think <laughs> so this whole awakening is just truly about Remembering. Remembering who and what you are. Right? We're endless. We're energy. We 
our soul literally is fragmented and all over the place experiencing many different things and I believe that in our sleeping hours we go to a different <laughs> a different realm and um, I believe that it's almost like meeting time like where our soul collects itself all together but when we wake up we wouldn't remember this why would we remember this we're in a reality in a realm right that doesn't allow for us to remember those higher ener energy so it comes across as foggy or a dream and we remember some details but the longer we're awake and these waking hours walking hours then the more we forget right or we question like is that what it was some of you are very vivid dreamers and that's wonderful that's awesome and this is my point this is why our truth is always this is why your truth and my truth may vary but that doesn't mean either one of them are wrong or incorrect, right? Because, see, one person may be a very visual person. Another person may hear uh, information. Another person may feel or sense it, you know? I'm not very visual. I'm, I'm not a very real visual person every once in a while, and it's kind of cool. But other than that, it's a feeling. It is straight up a feeling. I just know. You know, I mean, have you ever had that feeling where you just know, you just know, <laughs> you know, and like, if you let people keep questioning it and being like, huh, then, you know, you can start to doubt yourself and you know, that's, un it's a human trait. It's, it's what we do, right? But, you know, have that confidence in your truth and what you feel is right and what you believe don't look to somebody else to tell you what your truth is, okay? Only you know your truth. Only you can remember where and who you are. Where you are? <laughs> where you come from and who you are, right? I think it's beautiful that we're all so different and believe so many different things because we can learn so much from each other, right? Imagine meshing it all together That'd be pretty wild, pretty wild. So I also want to talk to you about. So you do know. Um, I want to talk uh, one moment. I see this. Is why I don't write notes down. I just, I just come out with it because I'll look at these notes that I myself wrote and I have no idea what they said or saying. Seriously. So enough with the notes. On with the learning and the bopping. Look, I seriously think that these next few years, more and more people are going to wake up. And it's like all, you know, it's like a war tactic, okay? Think of them, they, whoever you want to call them, the people that are running the show, right? The programmers. Think of the people that are doing the programming, right? They, uh, I believe they are frightened. I believe that they realize that they are losing and lost. They've already lost. Like, we're waking up. And there's enough of us that have already woken up that it is passing on. And more and more and more and more people are waking up. Why are they so nervous? Look, when you go into war, if you're not threatened by your enemy, you don't break out all the guns, right? You don't break out all your resources. But when you're nervous that you might, your your opponent, um, competitor, enemy, whatever, may actually take you down. Um, sorry, my phone needs then you, you bring it all out, all your resources. You bring out those big guns, right? So think about it. We have 24 seven programming going on and it's getting to the point that they're making themselves so obvious. Like really look at the news. Well, don't look at the news, but use that as an example, okay? I mean, it's almost like a joke. Like even people that aren't on their spiritual path or haven't really woken up from the fog, you know, are sitting there looking at the news like, seriously, come on, you guys, like you just repeated that you 
just literally said that and now you're saying this but what and you can literally change channels and you can see this is this side this is this side but the issue here is it's not just what they're saying but they're all the same people right they're all in that same group and all these this same group is pumping out two different stories so that what so we can bonk heads with each other disagree argue with each other right go to war with each other for no reason other than to keep them in power because see when we're scared when people are scared they want reassurance and anything that is going to give them certainty. I literally heard somebody else say this today. And I really try not to listen to anybody else on, you know, it, you know, I try to just do my own research, but so I really gotta find some different words. <laughs> I don't wanna, um, totally off topic. So also, what about our kids and schooling them? This has become kind of nerve wracking. Um, I have been schooling my kids, unschooling my kids for three years now. Meaning that there are certain topics that I find, subjects that I find that are very important for them to learn. And then there's others that just, you know, really, there's a distraction in school and literally just programming our children, right? Yeah, I don't know where it is. So, no notes for Angie anymore. Look, unschooling, okay? They need to know, okay, geometry, psychology, okay? Psychology and understanding how advertising works, how human behavior works, helps to understand it, it helps to be aware of when it's being done to you when somebody is literally controlling you because they know your behavior and they know how you're going to react to something it's like hey I'm gonna do this because I know they're gonna react like that so in the end they'll just walk right into our trap that's literally what's going on and it has been going on for quite some time now okay so those are a couple subjects that I highly recommend. Um, what's it called? Oh my gosh. It starts with an E and for some reason it's eluding my mind right now. Um, farming, agriculture. It will start with an E. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Blondie. So, um, agriculture, because agriculture is important. It's important that they, um, our children know how to grow their own food, harvest their own food, um, you know. It's important they know how to take care of the environment. They, it's important they understand what is healthy, what is not healthy. Uh, let's see, what else did I have? Physics, quantum physics. Um, just the understanding. When you start looking into quantum physics, you start realizing how endless things are how non-solid we really are like we're not solid i mean it, we it just really opens up a whole new world of um thought process perception it, it opens up a new perspective new view into reality and life right so, and unschooling our children, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole video on that because I really wanna research a few other things. Um, so it's not just my own personal experience, but I would like to collect a few, you know, uh, I wanna make sure, I mean, if I'm talking about anything to do with anyone's kids, then I can do some more research on that first, okay? But um, I will definitely include what, uh, you know, my experience with my three kids, or four kids that have been doing this. I've got three teenagers that have been doing it for a while, three years now, um, and my six-year-old that has been doing this as well. And a lot of it is, is allowing them to create their schedule because you know at first, you know what's gonna happen at first, right? You know, they're gonna sleep in, they're gonna stay up all night, they're gonna do 
what they've been wanting to do this whole time, right? Instead of going to school. So let them get it out. Let them get out. Because then all of a sudden they're going to start feeling a little bit down and depressed. And they're going to be going, oh man, what the hell? I don't really like this. And that's when you walk in and, you know, all along you got to be pumping this information in their ear. Like, you know, keep your vibration high. I mean, I walk in my kid's room, Vernon Sage, and they don't even ask questions anymore. Now they're like, here, can you come to my room? You know, at first it was, mom, that stinks. And now just by doing it, not making a big deal of it, but them understanding what it is I'm doing, them understanding that it truly does lighten the energies in the house. And even if it isn't something that actually works, it is that psychology that is saying, okay, yeah, things are better, you know? And so just, it's the psycho it's literally the psychology of them seeing me do these things, you know, filling up my oil diffusers, anything like that, putting salt around the house, you know, whatever it is. Um, we all have our different things. And I do many things, um, especially on the full moons, around the full moons, generally right before the full moons, um, to make sure the energies are cleansed, very cleansed. Um, new moons, so, you know, do it quite often. And uh, my kids see this, and it really, truly has made a difference. You know, it's nice to, instead of them complaining about the smell, they're like, hey, mom, can you come do my room? And, you know, they're smiling, they're happy. You know, uh, like, to have a teenager come up and be like, hey, can you recharge my crystal? Is just neat. But it didn't start that way. That's not how it started. No, at first it started like them acting like little turds, right? Doing, just sleeping, being disgusting little teenagers, <laughs> you know, with their mess everywhere, being lazy and stuff. And they had to learn that that didn't feel good, right? I can tell them all day long. You can tell your kids all day long. But until they understand how it feels and that it doesn't feel good, and it does feel much better to have a nice, you know, a clean area uh, or an area that, you know, is inviting, that is comforting to you, whatever style that is to you. Um, you know, once they understood that, then they themselves would keep, they tend to keep it up more. Instead of me having to be the nagging mom, like, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, because that creates the opposite effect, okay? I mean, there's many of us that had stuff drilled into our head that we just could not stand, right? Just certain things we could not stand doing. And as adults, we look back and we're like, that's why I don't want to do that. You know, I mean, there's certain responsibilities like, do not hand me a basket of sacks. Uh -uh. I had that, <laughs> it was my chore as a kid, right? All, every weekend I had to sit there and match an incredible amount of socks, right? And I couldn't do anything as a teenager until it was done on the weekends. Let me tell you, as an adult, psh, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I'll go barefoot in the winter, damn it. <laughs> no, I mean, I just don't like matching socks. I don't like matching socks, you know? I mean, you just don't like to sit there and fold them and match them all up. I'm sure, that would probably drive some of you nuts, but we all have our thing, right? We all have our thing. I hope this video uploads, I do. This is just real talk. It really is, okay? Um, I'm a real person going through this journey just like every single one of you. I felt very alone, very separated. And because of the life, my day-to-day -day, my day -to -day life that I live and have, I, I'm not trying to sound pathetic or anything. I love my life. I'm happy. I'm content. But I don't have anyone to talk to about this stuff. Like, I just don't. I simply don't. I can talk to people because I find so much of it so interesting and I can talk to people in this house. Nothing is wrong with this, okay? I'm not downing anybody. Oh, I just want to go so in depth with some of this stuff. And it's just gotten old to them. They don't want to hear it no more. You know, they're not as, it's simply, they're just not as interested in it as I am. They don't understand it or see it the way I'm seeing it. And that's okay. Because there's things in their life that are their interests that I just, 
want to hear I don't want to hear about the PlayStation all day long okay I really don't <laughs> just like they don't want to hear about my stuff all day long so it's nothing that is wrong with it it's just that um I my personal day-to-day -day life uh, is not interaction outside of the house constantly with other people adults or whatever I guess you want to say I like I like myself I like my solitude whatever um, but it left me really, really alone. It left me without anybody to talk to about how I was feeling. So it was YouTube. It was YouTube and Facebook and other thing platforms that I just searched to find people that were feeling the same as me or just anybody that could help me understand why I was feeling the way I was feeling, right? And after a while, I just learned that it's like nobody wanted to help me unless I had money and it really just started to really, really bother me. It's like, I just have one question. You can't, like, come on, homie. <laughs> you, just one question? Like, really? You want $100 for one question? I'm good. You know, just, just, you know, somebody wanting hundreds of dollars just basically to tell you that you have complete control of the energies that are in your environment and in your energetic field. You do. Okay? Um, as the energies increase, I definitely recommend cleanse your house. Every, every My shower is so important to me. Just simply because I am... It's a mindful shower. I am... There's intention. When I go into the shower, my intention is not just to wash and clean my physical body but my energetic field as well and I make sure every single day I, I have music on every shower I don't shower without music you know and I uh, every day I just I wash what no longer serves me away with the water water is very healing and it is it, it it's, an, it's, it's an amplifier it really will amplify um, a lot so I definitely recommend um, any kind of meditation w involving water is very, very healing and definitely amplifies and helps. Um, let's see what else do I want to talk about. This is, I think my video is actually going to cut off in about 30 seconds. Oh, perfect timing. So, yes, I will do lots more on these subjects. Let me know what you think. Let me know how this resonated. And so much love. Thank you for your support. And get welcome. <laughs> Peace.